So hello, and thank you for joining us today for today's Public Good App House demo event. So joining me today, we have James McBrien, founder and CEO of Track It Forward, a volunteer time tracking system to help grassroots and nonprofit organizations. Thousands of schools and nonprofits have used Track It Forward to track time in order to meet grant requirements, enforce membership levels, and retain volunteers through recognition programs. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I am James from Track It Forward. All right. So the thing with tracking hours is that it's very difficult to do. Nobody likes to track hours. I'm sure if you're a nonprofit and that you've tried to do that before, um, you're like, oh, just track it on paper or spreadsheet. Um, but it doesn't quite work that well. And so we've worked with thousands of organizations to get tracking hours working well for them. And the reason why organizations track hours is to retain volunteers increase accountability and access grant funding through the data that is collected. So the key thing to do to making Track It Forward work, to getting volunteers to actually track hours is it has to be simple. And it, so it's a one, two, three process of one, you get the volunteer to actually volunteer and show up. I and mean, you can do that through our system. Number two, you got to get them to track the hours in the way that makes sense to them. There are 10 different ways of tracking hours on Track It Forward, and that is key to getting the data that you need. And lastly, is creating reports, not just for the organizer, but for the volunteer as well. And that is the key, and that's what we did with Track It Forward. So right now, um, there's, you know, to date, there's over 21.5 million hours that have been tracked over with over a thousand organizations here, some of the the people that have done it, every single second right now, an hour is being tracked in our system. Um, that's how much it's being used at the current moment. So here's a quick demo. So again, the key here is that for, this needs to be simple, basically. So here's our mobile app, some screenshots from it. It looks like a basic form, right? Select your hours, the date, the activity. And after, the, after those hours are submitted, the volunteer can instantly see their milestone requirements. This is a minimum requirement of, of 10 hours but this is completely adjustable, which we'll show you in a little bit. And then on the organizer side, uh, the organizer can approve or reject those hours and send messages to those volunteers in order to continue encouraging them to volunteer. Another way that volunteers volunteer on Track It Forward, again, this is one of the, one of the 10 ways that people can volunteer is using the event signup sheets. Uh, this is kind of like your signup.com or signup genius where volunteers RSVP, you do all the communication, et cetera. But the key difference here on Track It Forward is when the volunteer is at the event itself, um, they can sign in on a digital sign-in sheet and then they can sign out as well when they're done and automatically logging those hours. So volunteers actually don't really need to log anything because it's all automatically done. One of our more recent features is our check in and out on-site kiosk. Basically set up a computer or laptop and as volunteers come in and out, um, they sign in, they register and they sign out. Everything again is automatically logged. I do want to focus on, you know, as I mentioned, this is a one, two, three process. It has to be simple for all the volunteers to actually make it work. It's all about getting those hours collected, approving and verifying them, and creating the reports that are necessary for you and your volunteers. And when I focus on simplicity, I keep saying simple over and over again. That's what we're known for. But behind the scenes, there's something um, driving it that's actually a bit more complicated, and that's what Track It Forward really helps with. Track It Forward is completely customizable for your organization. Um, and that's the key difference that we found works for organizations. Every nonprofit has their own workflow. You have volunteers sign in in different ways. You have different data that you need to collect. And that is completely adjustable on our system. You can collect what volunteer information you want. You can collect as much hour log data as you want. For example, activity, mileage, GPS coordinates. You can do selfies. Uh, you can do signatures, notes, any fields that you want. A popular one is actually amount of garbage collected. Um, that is very important for, for uh, you know, conservancies to report that upwards um, and they can collect that on Track It Forward. And lastly, the types of achievements and requirements that, that you have in your organization, they're all gonna be different and then you can have multiple ones of them and we make that completely adjustable. So Track It Forward is known for not only being simple but completely customizable as well because this at the end of the day, this is an operational tool and it needs to match your workflow. So if you're considering volunteer time tracking, are you doing it right now and it's not quite working, we have an ebook that we've created that goes through everything we've learned through um, while getting organizations set up with volunteer time tracking. Just go to trackitforward.com slash ebook. 
Or if you just want to talk with us and just chat with us, like, is your current system working? Is, it, is this even a good fit for you? How much work is it going to take to get set up? You can just like, you can just talk nonprofit stuff in general. We've made our team available for the next two weeks for the TechSoup community. Just go to trackitforward.com slash TechSoup. We have our Calendly's in there. Just sign up and we'll chat with you during this holiday times. So thank you so much and appreciate you guys for coming out.